I hope y'all are doing well. And uh, we've had some ice storm, and after that we had flooding, and one day it's uh, 12 degrees, and a week later it's 70. So still under the weather. Family's been sick too, and one thing is another, but this is 3D printed creature part 20. I want to show you what I've done. So I had to remodel the jaw and just move the so-called linkage area to the jaw. I kept getting a backlash, but now you see it work it's working correctly. I had to do some redesigning on the tilt mechanism servos. I needed something a little bit more torque. The other ones just wouldn't probably handle plus skin, so I had to go with some higher torque servos. Also, uh, I modeled this little panel for, uh, you know, to kind of keep a wire, the servo wires organized. But as you see here, I'm testing the, the uh, each servo before I set it up on VSA software. There's another servo I need to order, but they're out of stock right now. And uh, But I need to get a servo block that comes with it. But as you see here, I even labeled all all the, the servos on this panel so I can kind of keep these wires organized. Now, this panel will be redesigned later when I have all the servos in place. And this will be more in, like in a chess piece. And so we can keep it all organized and in the right position. Now, they discontinued this servo controller here. It's a really good servo controller. But this is uh, Endurance RC. But uh, I'll be using another servo controller. And it'll probably be a lot smaller. This is like a 25 servo controller. But this is VSA software. And you get it from Brookshire software. I have version 4, but I'm going to demonstrate this by using the demo of version 6 and how to set this this servo controller up and the software. You go into type and you have to go into port and then plus you can name each servo on what it is. As you see here, the type, I have our endurance servo and then I have port, which is the servo controller port. I have to change these individually. I'm recording this on OBS Studio, which I can video capture. But uh, it's just setting all of this up needs to be, the servo controller needs to be hooked up to the USB. And also the power to the servo controller is active. As I'm recording the video capture and I click on this jaw mechanism, when I move this so-called servo diagram here in the direction I want, the servo is moving the jaw as I'm doing this. It's just trying to demonstrate the video capture and shooting the animatronic live at the same time. I'd have to do picture in picture, which you, you will see later. But when I move this in the direction I want, because the power and the, and the servo controller is on, and this is how, with this software, you can also put, let's say if you've recorded you talking, you will have your mouth moving, and plus you would be able to edit the so-called audio track of your voice with this software. I mean, this software is so cool. This is pretty much go motion and you're, you're animating the servo to a voice or to a track of some sort. So if you had a two syllable word, that would be up, down, up, down. So four movements that you would have to control and you would have four separate bar graphs to make this happen. So actually you're doing a form of animation and this is just a really wonderful software because you can control the software to the point 
to where if you need your mouth to move faster or your lips to move faster, it all depends on the, the length of the bar graph. The longer it is, the slower the servo would move or shorter being faster. So this number one servo is the eyelids. And what I'm doing, I'm making the eyelids and then I'm, I'm moving the eyebrows. And each time that I'm doing this is that so-called certain speed for the eyelids to blink. So I have it blinking open and then I close the eyelids and then I open the eyelids. And then on top of that, what I can do is I can highlight the whole section and copy it and put it right next to what I've just created. So, and then here you see that I'm reducing the size of the eyelids closing by adjusting the speed by making them smaller. So now when I have a so-called routine of all the servos moving, I can press play and then this will be the first what I've achieved. And then if I want to adjust anything, I can go back and add as far as copy and paste, copy and paste to get the same movement that I want. And then I can also do the copy and then paste. And then I can change that paste by making it longer or shorter as you see here. I really enjoy VSA software. I've been using it for a number of years. I mean, probably 15 years now, but it, it's just, the workflow is just is so comfortable to me to use. But as you see here, I'm adjusting it to do an even faster movement. But like here, you'll notice that my jaw is always open. So I'm going to go back in there and re-edit the software and then I'll just press play again. As you see I probably need to make some adjustments to the so-called center lip to where I might need to remodel or either add some some washers to it to make it a little bit more tighter. But here I'm adjusting the uh, tilt mechanism to be faster or even slower or even just add more movements by just copy and pasting. But Overall, it's, it's working well, but this is just a movement test. I'm not going by any so-called audio or video file to actually match the movement to a voice or to a sound. As you see here, I have the skull top on, and now you're really getting a, a true look on how it's going to be moving. And plus, later on, I'll be able to critique it if I have some kind of a audio file to, to go by and then it will be even just a, a crazy look when we have skin on this animatronic. By using this demo, I'm just doing a test of the, all the movements. Now I cannot save this file because it is a demo, but just to demonstrate what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting the jaw mechanism up down and I'm doing a copy and paste and I'll shorten the, the whole paste and then that way I can get kind of a, a realistic mixing. I mean, recording this whole process of this demonstration with the software, it might have taken an hour, but that's, once again, I'm recording everything and that adds more time to it, but it doesn't take long at all. But this is the final result. But look, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I appreciate all the subscribers, all the thumbs up and all the comments. And please share. It helps the channel. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Later.